two disciples from the circle of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai went to another city. There they were invited into a man's home, but his child refused to join them. The child said that the rabbis had not yet said the prayer Shema for that day. The rabbis were astonished to hear this, for in fact they had hurried to reach the city by nightfall and they had not said the prayer. They looked at each other, wondering what kind of child this was. The rabbis said the prayer, and then the child joined them. Each time he spoke, mysteries from on high were revealed. The rabbis began to feel as if they were in the presence of an angel. They asked the child how it was possible that he was acquainted with such mysteries, and he told them that he was the soul of Rabbi Gadiel. He had been martyred early in life at the age of seven. Even then, he had been recognized as a great scholar and one of great purity. His soul had been received at once in heaven, where he was made head of his own yeshiva. Still, even though the greatest sages in paradise sat at his feet, he had longed to know what it meant to live a full life. And when the Holy One, blessed be he, recognized his great longing, Rabbi Gadiel had been reborn into that family, but he had brought all of his knowledge with him. After that, the rabbis addressed the child as Rabbi Gadiel, and showed him the great honor he deserved as one of the greatest sages. So too did they study at his feet, and when they turned to Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, they told him the marvelous tale of Rabbi Gadiel, the child. This story comes from Gabriel's Palace, Jewish Mystical Tales, selected and retold by Howard Schwartz.